So many of you might have heard about a new urban code product called urban code velocity. Uh, today I'll give you a quick introduction of how to install velocity on a Macintosh using the Docker Compose installation. Um, so once you come out to our website of our documentation, we'll go ahead and give you a quick overview of what velocity is. Um, you might have seen it at trade shows, you might have heard about value streams and how you can utilize those every day. Um, but what I'll be focusing on is actually getting it up and running on your Mac uh, using our Docker Compose installation. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to go down is jump down to the quick overview. Um, we support many different operating systems and many different configurations. Uh, the one that I'll be focusing on today is the standard edition. Uh, which is all the features in the product uh, for free to use for 60 days. Um, and then you'll need a license to continue your trial period. Um, so this gives you access to everything. It's a good introduction. Um, it allows you kind of to do a POC, hook up some integration, see what the capabilities are, and then work with us on actually getting that try by experience. Um, today, like I said, I'm on a Macintosh, so I'll be focusing on this, and I'll be focusing on the Docker Compose installation. Um, so the first thing you're going to go ahead and need to do is uh, come down here to the installing on a Docker Compose. Um, and since I'm using Docker Compose, you'll need to go ahead and go out to Docker Compose website um, and install the Docker Compose, um, like I said, Mac. Uh, I actually use Docker Desktop for Mac, which makes it even easier to get up and running. Uh, once you do that, uh, you'll go down about halfway through the documentation. You'll see that there's a get an access key. Um, what this is doing is providing you that 60 day trial access key. Um, and it's real simple. If you go out to the Urban Code website, you can actually go ahead and select Standard Edition. Uh, type in your name, it will come up with, make sure that you use a valid company email address and your company. Um, and then you can agree and hit I'm not a robot and go ahead and click the request access key. Um, if you jump back to the documentation, um, that will go ahead and send you out an email. So go ahead and please check your email for that access key. Um, you should get an email with a couple lines and about in the middle there'll be an access key that's a long character string and you'll want to save that for later in the process. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do is come down here to the macOS installation. Uh, clicking this will actually download the installer um, and that will take a couple seconds to download and once that's done um, you'll just want to come over to your command line, uh, CD to wherever it was installed. For me, it was downloads. Um, and then the important command that you need to run here is to change the permissions on the installer um, so that you can actually execute the installer. So I just do this with an easy sudo chmode uh, command and it will ask you for your password. Uh, once you do that, you'll see that you can actually run the installer. Um, it will ask you for your access key. This is what's in the actual email. Um, go ahead and go through the license, hit yes. Uh, choose platform, that's gonna be Docker Compose. Uh, where you want to install it is downloads. Um, and how you want to run it on the host name is localhost, which port 443 is default. And if you want to start it, you can hit yes. Um, with the magic of computers, I'll show it already started here. Um, and then you should be able to go ahead and hit your localhost or whatever host name that you used. Um, the default password is going to be admin admin. Uh, once you log in, you're up and running on urban code velocity in less than five minutes. Thanks.